It's Mr. Christmas! Two whole English pounds. Two quid? It's Christmas. <laughs> What's up? We're at Winterville in Clapham Common. Common? Yeah. Clapham Common. I think so. In London. Um, budget Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Uh, we've done like no research into this event before we've come. Um, so, yeah, we have no idea what's here. We're going to take you for a little walk around and stuff first. Um, we've got the vlog on Winter Wonderland coming up as well, so we can compare the two, see what it's like. So far, it's quite nice actually, isn't it? It's pretty. Yeah. It's Christmas, so we're very it's happy compact. it's Christmas. Yeah, it's very compact. It's a little bit, well, a little bit. It looks a lot smaller than Winter Wonderland. Yeah. Um, it's a hell of a lot quieter. Um, it's currently Sunday night, night, evening, afternoon, it's getting dark, um, we went to Winter Wonderland, when did we go, like yesterday, day before yesterday, it's like Friday night and it was horrendous, so we didn't film a vlog now, we're going to come back and do it on a weekday when it's quieter, um, but yeah, so far it's really really cool, um, we're going to give you a little walk around, we're going to head around to the rides first, obviously, because that's where we want to be, um, show you the little ride selection and all that kind of stuff, uh, show you a map of the park, uh, park? I'm not even a theme park anymore, you know what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, take you around, have a look at all the Christmas stuff, show you what's on offer. But yeah, it's looking really cute so far, which is good. We like a good, cute Christmas thing. Um, this is Charlotte, by the way. Hi! She lives in London, so yeah. we're here. Barely. <laughs> Barely. But yeah, we're going to head around to the rides, and um, I'll see you then, and catch up with you, tell you what we're going to be going on, and all this kind of stuff. So we're here at the rides, it's right at the back of the park. Um, looks like there's quite a good selection here actually, I wasn't expecting much. We'll take it around, we've got Oblivion, which is looking quite cool. We're not out on towers, but this is Oblivion. I have no idea how much tokens are or anything just yet, we'll give you an update on that in a moment. We've got a nice booster up here as well. What's this one called? Altitude. They've all got such bad names, I love it. Light package on that is so nice. You can see that for miles. Like, literally, we were walking in, you can see this for ages. Got some Dodgems as well. A couple of the ticket booths. Dodgems are five tokens. Don't know what a token is just yet. How much is this? Seven. Seven tokens. Um, I'm imagining tokens are a pound, maybe? Um, that wouldn't be too bad. That'd be better than um, Winter Wonderland, for sure. But yeah, this is looking really, really nice. Oh, it goes on. Yeah. That's my favorite food, sugar. Some games, because you'd really come to a place like this to uh, play games you can play anywhere else. Not many people on the Dodgers at the minute. Three or four, including a member of staff. It is really quiet. Yeah, that's one noticeable thing here. It's so much quieter than Winter Wonderland. Um, it's, it's just a much smaller event. I have no idea how long this has been going. Um, I know it was here last year, so I'm imagining a, f a few years. Um, there we go. There's a lot more here than I thought. Nice ball, sir. Mega dance. One thing that's the same as Winter Wonderland is a, it's a, a severe lack of Christmas music. Yeah, for a Christmas event, there is no Christmas music going on right now, which is, I mean, a bit of a shame, I'd say. Um, there's a little kids' land here as well, which is nice to see. We've got a nice family coaster. Go this way. Looks like we got a little train here, probably to the Crazy caterpillar. Got something we're going to be going on. Normally, we try and get all the creds, but not really fancying that. Circus Circus. Not quite the same as Winter Wonderland Circus Circus. Got a car drive. God knows how they managed to pay for that branding, but let's hope it's legit. <laughs> Lovely classic Helter Skelter as well. Not sure we're going to be experiencing much of these, but we'll do the fun house. That is one fun house I've never experienced before that I know of. So we're definitely doing the fun house. Circus Circus. 
definitely be taking you around the fun house. It's always good. What are we going over here? We've got a mirror maze as well by the looks of it. Mirror maze sort of fun house. Yeah. Ah! Misery! That looks like a horror house. And yeah, that's my kind of thing. Ah, oh, okay, so tokens. Single tokens, 120 each, or 10 tokens for 10 pounds. So that's not too bad, little saving there. Um, we'll definitely be getting getting 10 <laughs> for this place. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I can't believe how many rides and stuff and fun houses and attractions are here. It's really, really cool. Um, swing ride here too. Lovely flooring, same flooring as Winter Wonderland. This is this looks cool. It's only three tokens, this one. That's cheap. Yeah, the fun house really is free as well. All right, so that's actually the full lap of all the rides and stuff here. That's the selection we got. Uh, so we're gonna go buy some tokens and um, get ourselves in some rides. Um, no idea what we're gonna buy yet. We're just gonna go buy some. Most stuff is uh, five tokens or under. Uh, the booster here is seven, uh, which is okay. That's that's, that's alright for a booster. That's quite good. Um, it's way way cheaper than Winter Wonderland. Just saying. Um, it's not quite got the scale, but it's way cheaper. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go find some tokens. Get back to you in a sec. Not bad value at all. So many tokens. So we've just bought 20 tokens each, 20 quid. Um, as you can see. Christmassy colours. Christmassy colours. <laughs> Green and red. Uh, first ride we're going to do is Oblivion. Um, yeah, looking forward to these ones. I always love these afterburners, they're so good. Um, but yeah, lovely lighter package on this one. It's just getting dark as well, so we're really getting the full, um, the full picture of it. Yeah. Love these rides, we're gonna get on. How many tokens is this one? Five. What are we yeah, talking? Five. five tokens for this one. Five, not too bad, actually. Um, you know, you know what it's like at other places like Winter Wonderland and stuff, you'd be paying upwards from that. So, yeah, five tokens, not too bad. It's quite an erotic photo for, uh, for a ride. Yeah, excited for this one. just came off Oblivion, the KMG Afterburner. So good, I mean they're always good, but like, that one was a little intense actually for a small one. It look, it looks small, but it, that's the fastest spinning I've ever been on one of those KMGs, so that's pretty good. Um, I think we're gonna head over to like a fun house or something now. Um, I'm not sure which one, either the horror one or, no let's do this, let's do Circus Circus, let's do the, the actual fun house one. Um, I don't know how many tokens that's going to be. Was it three? Uh, yeah, three. Three tokens. We're going to end up with a token left. Because we bought an even number. But yeah, we're going to go and do uh, Circus Circus, the fun house. Um, we'll take you through that because that'll be fun. Um, and then we're going to go back and do the booster altitude. And then I don't know actually. I don't know what we're going to do. I quite fancy going with this. Uh, this ride over here as well. But, um, oh really? Yeah, not too sure. We'll find out. Um, if we've got tokens left over, we might have to buy like an extra couple. This is only three tokens for, for Mega Dark. And they're normally quite intense rides, they're normally quite good. So we might have a go on that as well. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Over to Circus Circus for now though. Catch okay, up with you over there. So this is quite good. It's three tokens per person or five tokens for two people. Luckily, we're two people, so it's five tokens for us. But yeah, we'll take you through. I love these fun houses, they're so creepy. What is this? Yeah, let's go. Fun house. These things are so dangerous. Oh look, look who it is. It's Mr. Christmas. Go on, you first. We'll let Charlotte go first. This way around. Yeet! Let's just 
was fun. I'll give you on this forever. Uh oh. Mirror maze. You gotta go first because I've got to oh. film this. Not gonna lie, this is quite an easy to navigate mirror maze because there's so many fingerprints on all of the on all of the glass. And they're not mirrors. You can see through them. This is just a glass maze. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is literally just a glass maze. <laughs> what, what was that? Oh man, this is funny. Hold on to handrails. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. It's weird. It's like riding on the tube. It's like a Oh, what is this? Oh, we gotta climb out there. I'm gonna go on this one. It doesn't move. That's a shame. Huh? Disappointing. Oh, look at this. Go on, you first. <laughs> it's actually a really nice view of here. You've got the star flyer up there. You've got the booster in the background as well. You've got the crazy caterpillar family coaster. Flying elephants. It's cool. I'm going to try and walk over these now. Just walk in between them. It's some no fun. And here on display is Charlotte. <laughs> oh god, I don't know how to start walking again now. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to stand on. It's quite quick though. <laughs> No, it does move. She just told you it moves, but... Oh, it doesn't move on it. What did she say? She said it doesn't move on its own. Move! What is going on? Move! Why won't you move? Right. It's not moving. Well, we can just pretend. We can just pretend. Oh, Charlotte, you're upside down. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Barrel's supposed to be moving, but it's not. This is dangerous. How is this fun? Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Oh, these move as well. Yeah, they move around. I'm just stuck Finally, spinning. So, yeah, something that actually works. <laughs> I feel like I'm on oblivion again. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna break this. Yeah. How do we get off this thing? I don't know. Oh man. Oh, this is a waste of tokens. This place broken. Yeah, this isn't doing anything. Oh well. Yeah, this is actually a really rubbish fun house. <laughs> <laughs> Noted, if Circus Circus comes to and uh, <laughs> oh. Nothing like a bit of broken scenery. Although I must say, the lady that was in the token booth is wearing this lovely Christmas jumper. Oh, and I've got a Christmas jumper on because it's Christmas, of course. I'm glad two of them are spinning. Yeah, glad two of them are spinning. Whoa. See you later. <laughs> I don't really want to go through this. I feel like I'm on radio. I'm coming in. The way of the Mario. <laughs> Oh, uh, they stop, look, because I'm too... <laughs> oh, this place. Even better view from up here. Starfly's actually going now. 
We got Oblivion there in the background. Crazy Caterpillar's lights package is back up. Don't know what was going on with that. Flying Dumbos are going around. Got some people bouncing around, some small teacups. There's the other fun house, but I think it's more of just a mirror maze. And then you've got Misery over there in the distance. Yeah, this is a really nice little event. This is just the ride section. Um, and then sort of over, over this way over here, you've got some of the food courts and stuff like that. This is all the rides just here. Um, and we haven't actually been over the other side yet. It's just basically one big square, as you can see. I uh, think it goes on a bit further over towards Big Wheel, of course. So over there is a little bit bigger. This seems to be the back of the attraction over here, all the way around. Uh, we came in over that way somewhere, so we haven't been over towards the Big Wheel or anything just yet. We've been around. Um, yeah, it's quite cool. Anyway, on with the fun house. Which actually isn't that fun, I'm not going to lie. It's just a house, Jake. Yeah. It's just a house. Yeah, this is, this is uh, on with the house. The house that we paid five tokens for between us. My, my studio flat is more fun than this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall. We have got a slide, though. On the slide. Yeah, I'm going down. Why wouldn't we go down the slide? Because it's not the slide for people our age. See you later. Bye. Oh my god. Down. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's stuck. We're going down. Ugh. Okay, this isn't a very slippery slide. A bit stuck. Oh no, here we go. Ah. I'm out. <laughs> this one moves. Nice Santa again. Ho ho ho. <laughs> I want to go in the hamster wheel, but there's huh? a small child in it. There's a, yeah. yeah, we want to experience the only fun part, but there is a small child in there. He is having a lot of fun, though. So. so at least someone's having fun in the fun house. Go on then, Charlie, it's your turn. You're supposed to go all the way around, you know, hold on to it. You look like a hamster in a wheel. This is just fun. Amazing, well, that was the fun house. Um, see what's going on next, I'm not sure yet. Right. So that was the fun house. We're going to have a little walk around, show you around a bit more of the park. Um, I call it a park, you know what I'm talking about, the event. Um, yeah, it's, it's so nice actually. It's a lot. It's a very different feel to Winter Wonderland. Um, it's 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 it's, a, it's different. It's a lot smaller. It's very. I don't know. It's just alternative. Um, I, I will show you around. You'll see what I mean. But it's very sort of like industrial. There's fires around the place and stuff as well. If you just sit around and stuff, like you can smell the fire. You can like, smell all the food when you're going past. It's really nice. Um, yeah, this is the section just after we've been through the rides. Um, here's one of those mighty fires going on just here. <laughs> Getting warm. <He'll> see. <laughs> Magic City Rum Bar. And this is Street Feast, so I guess in this is where we're going to come to get all of our food. Um, there's also a shop in there which will take you around in a moment. Let's go and check out what's going on with all the food situation. So you can see what I mean, it's quite industrial. We've got all of these going on filled with fire and stuff. We can, yeah, it is kind of close to profit too. It's quite well themed actually, it's quite nice. Um, so here we are going into all the food. So we'll take you through all your food options and stuff like that. Um, you know we like to do that because all our dietary requirements on the channel. Um, so let's just start over here. So we've got Northern Thai street food, not too bad on pricing either. You've got a hot donut, you're going to have donuts everywhere you go, aren't you, of course. There's a nice cow up there. Put up in my grill, I like that steak and ribs. Not seen any vegetarian stuff so far. Crispy squid. Again, not too bad of prices, nothing's over £10 so far, which is good. Here we got pizza. 
Yeah, they've got a vegan pizza, which is good. And they know about their allergens, which we are very glad about. Again, nothing over a tenner, which is quite reasonably been priced, actually. Move around this way. So we've got street feet on the side. We've got a few more of these lights. We've got these lights going and everything. It's really pretty. Really, really cool. It's like this mix of industrial and it's like, it's just nice. We've got a bar here. I'll show you through some of the prices on the bar if you're interested. Got cocktails for a tenner. So far, food options are looking really cool. Um, we'll choose one later on and give you a little review. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got Black Bear Burger, some more burgers going on. Oh, oh. That's got a £10.50, so that's the first thing we've seen over a tenner. This is kebabs. And they've got, as Charlotte just pointed out, where is it? Ron Cheesley, Tikka Turner, Notorious Pig, and just halloumi fries for the vegetarians. We're moving around, what have we got up here? We've got jerk chicken. This looks quite nice. Again, nothing over a tenner. Really good. Steve Buns. Steve Buns. Nearly everywhere does have a vegetarian option though. Again, nothing over a tenner, that's all good. And then we've just got a cheese plate, which is looking sick. Again, nothing over a tenner. In fact, nothing over a fiver here, of seven pounds. And then you've got a vegetarian barbecue up there, which is really cool to see. They've got that. Yeah, we'll be going through some of the food later on, trying a few bits. And, um, of course, we'll give you an update on the food, as well as like any allergies and stuff. You know I've got the allergy, so I always have to ask. Um, see how that's handled. At Winter Wonderland, that wasn't handled well, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I, that probably won't be in the vlog, because we didn't do it on that day, but I asked them at the, the chips and curry sauce, and I was like, am I good with nuts? Have I got a nut allergy? And he just goes, they're vegetarian. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you have to don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, we'll give you an update on the food in a bit. Take you around a little bit more of the park as well. We've got the roller disco over here as well. They have got an ice rink too. Quite quiet tonight. Yeah, roller disco is looking quite cool actually. Um, so this is right next to where we were with the street feast. We got Mexican wrestling. That sounds cool. And hang on, we can't focus on the sign because it's too bright. We've got Mexican wrestling and you okay, hun? God knows what that is. Um, whatever it is, I'm sure it's cool though. Here, this is really cool here. Everything is very different. Um, you can see from theming and stuff, it's all quite alternative. Um, they've got little bars around the place and everything as well, and like little huts, which is cool. Um, as far as I know, everywhere takes card. Um, we haven't tried with the food yet, uh, but the tokens took card, but it's minimum of 10 pounds. So if you're looking at doing less than 10 tokens, you've got to pay cash. Um, oh, we've got a crazy golf as well. Strong golf. Invented name. What are the prices on this? Seven pound for an adult, four pound for a child. Card payments only on this one. I do have a soft spot for crazy golf, so we might be going around that because it does look fairly pretty. Yeah, we'll see if we can give you a peek over the barrier. It doesn't look like the best course in the world, but looks good. Looks like it's probably nine holes as well. Nine holes, seven quid, it's all right, not too bad. So here's a look at like the map of the place. So we started off going straight to the fairground, of course, with all the rides and stuff. So that's near the back of the park. So the entrance is right down here. So we went all the way to the top. But as soon as you come through the entrance, you've got the roller disco, you've got the bar, which is in like a TP, which is cool, and a big wheel. Uh, truck stop, we haven't seen that yet. We haven't been over there. We've got toilets. They even say it's the alternative festive experience. And I think that's pretty on point. Got the ice rink, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, the two cinemas and the Christmas labyrinth, which we haven't been to yet, which we'll show you in a moment. We've got the golf, which is directly behind us now. And we got all of this stuff as well. This is just showing you what's going on. Oh, we've got the street feast, and the fair, and the crafts, and the bus king. So yeah, it's all looking quite cool. Here's some of the events that are going on as well. 
Um, what's the day today? Do you want the date? Today's the second, isn't it? Yeah. Second. So today we got Family Mexican Wrestling, which we've missed because that was at one o'clock. You okay, hun? Um, at seven, which we're probably not going to be here for. Might be. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff going on. Um, literally, looks like every day, if not every day, then most days, there's something going on. Yeah, really, really cool, actually. We've got this going on. A pop extravaganza. We're not there on the 8th of the 6th, so. Ah, oh. future advertising. I like it, they must do other events here then. Yeah, all right, we'll carry on with the tour of the park. So we've got the brew cab, nice little tent. Not gonna go in there, not really, I think. Warm tent, cold beer. Right, so over here then. So this is right next to the entrance. So the first thing you come across if you turn right, is your backyard cinema. So they're showing all sorts of films here. We missed out today, we were gonna go and see, what was it we were gonna see this morning? Hey, Great Showman. Yeah. Um, but loads of the tickets are sold out. Um, so they must be doing well with this, with this backyard cinema. We're gonna go in and have a look inside the bar. They've got Christmas Labyrinth and stuff as well. Christmas Labyrinth, which is included with your ticket for backyard cinema. Um, I think it was about 20, was it 18 pound or something for the cinema. Not, I'm not sure exactly on the price. But you can just go through the maze, 450. Not too bad. Probably not something we're going to do, but something you want to do with the kids or whatever, stuff like that. Not too bad. But yeah, this is really nice. looks cool. I want to know what's in there, but I don't want to pay £4.50 to find out, so maybe we'll talk to some members of staff to see what's in there and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we're going to head back out, show you the rest of the park. We've shown you most of it now, just got the big wheel to go and a couple of other things. Um, but yeah, so far, this event, I'm really, really impressed with this event, actually. Um, it's really cool. Oh, look, we got more food here. Truck stop. So just as you come out of the cinema, you've got this truck stop. Uh, which looks a lot more like street food type stuff. Ooh, that's really, really cool looking as well. Very industrial looking. Again, you've got that lovely booster in the background. Can't get rid of that. So what we got in here? We've got more pizza, which does look better. Churros. Dumplings. Uh, dumplings. But that's the same branding as one of the places in there, isn't it? It's just steamed buns or something. So you got these. You've got churros over here. You've got some pizza. Hot dogs, they got veggie hot dogs. Yes! Actually, this place is very accommodating for that kind of stuff. There's a bar over there as well. Rotisserie chicken, probably not best for the vegetarian. Um, yeah, it's looking really, really cool. Um, sport for choice and food, I don't know what we're going to have. Um, let's find out in a minute, I guess. My, that's a big wheel you have. Here we're going to the ice rink, which is right behind the truck stop. Um, it's very quiet on there. Considerably um, less busy than Winter Wonderland. But it's also a lot smaller than Winter Wonderland. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Maybe it's about the same size as Winter Wonderland. The ice does look good, actually. Um, again, not something we're that fussed about doing. I don't know the prices. We'll go in and find out for you in a second. Um, but yeah, talking about prices, we paid £2 to get in. There's something to look out for. It's not a fr It's free sometimes, but basically it was like most days before like 12 if, if you come before 12 it opens at like 11 i think if you come before 12 it's free if you come between like 12 and 5 it's two pound and on like a friday or saturday if you come after five it's like five or six pounds so make sure you check on the website or on their facebook page social media and stuff about um what day you're coming and uh how much it is to get in if you buy any of the um tickets in advance so you can buy the ice ring you can book the big wheel in advance as well um, the Backyard Cinema, if you can actually get in, and uh, the Plonk Golf, or the Roller Disco, or some of the other events. If you buy a ticket for those, you get free entry. So if you're thinking of doing one of those things while you're here, definitely think about buying those tickets in advance so you can get in. It's only a couple of quid, but you can save that two pound when you come in. Uh, we'll go in and find out how much the ice rink is. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head online. I think it was, must have been around a tenner. I don't think it was that expensive. It wasn't as bad as Winter Wonderland. Um, but yeah, we're not up for killing ourselves on the ice today, so um, like not something we're going to do. But we want to find out as well if you can pay for all of these things while you're here. Um, it must be able to because it's, it's quite quiet. I wouldn't see why not. Um, 
But yeah, we'll have a look. Well, right, so there's no prices inside. Um, we'll check online and I'll put the price here or I'll just tell you in a minute. Um, all, they, all they know is the penguins are a fiver. So there's penguins, uh, there's no one actually using one right now. Oh, there is a kid using one in the far corner, but they're just like things you can hold on to to help you skate. We were just saying that we probably need like two each if we would ice skate, so. Yeah, not something you're gonna see in the, in the vlog, not, not, on, not on our vlog. Um, yeah, the only thing I could say, we haven't, oh, right in front of us there's toilets. I was just about to say we haven't found any toilets yet, but the toilet's right in front of us. Um, we'll, have a, we'll check them out and tell you what they're like as always. We always give you a toilet check, which is good. Um, from the outside looking a lot cleaner than Winter Wonderland, but it's a lot less use. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna go check that out. So you know, toilet check as always. They're right. <laughs> They're just, as you see behind me, they're just like portaloo style things, but really clean actually. Um, didn't expect that. Usually these places just don't look after their toilets, but yeah. This place, I keep saying it, I'm so impressed. I cannot believe how good this event is. Um, I would seriously consider, if you're considering going to Winter Wonderland, I would consider, if you can come here as well and do both, amazing, because Winter Wonderland is really good. It's good, something really good to experience. But, um, I would honestly consider coming here, especially if you have kids or if you just don't really like crowded places and stuff like that. Winter Wonderland gets really, really, really busy. And um, these places are so much better to experience at night, you know, especially with the ride, the light packages and all this kind of stuff. It does look a lot better at night. Um, Winter Wonderland gets so, so busy during um, its peak nights and stuff. So, I mean, this is a Sunday night. About, it's about half five, I think it is. Maybe just before that, yeah, ten, past ten past five, and it's still so comfortable here. All the rides are walk on. Um, there's no big crowds anywhere. It's all really, really good. So definitely consider coming here. Um, we've head back over to the rides now. So we've given you a little insight about what's what's going on around the place. Um, we're heading back to why we're here, which is uh, the fairground and stuff. We're gonna get on altitude, the booster here. Um, only ever been on one booster before, and it's it looks like it's identical to this one. Uh, it wasn't out, it wasn't called Altitude, so I don't know whether they've just changed light package or whatever, but um, I'm gonna have a go on the booster. Of course, we give you off-ride footage and stuff. I haven't got my GoPro with me today, so we're not gonna have any on-ride stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll get on the booster, tell you what it's like when we get off, give you some off-ride, as always. Alright, so we just came off altitude, the old KMG booster. Um, it's it's good. I mean, it's a booster, but the one, the booster we went on at Tully's Farm, uh, Shark Toberfest. Um, I think it was about. Six, I think it was about six pounds, seven pounds. It might have been about the same as that, actually. Um, but the one at Tully's took you around, um, sort of like backwards, five times or so, and then switched and went the other way five times. This one just took you around the same way, uh, round and round. It was a little bit boring, a little bit tedious, but it was good. It was all right. Um, I think we're going to go on Mega Dance now. Um, we've got eleven tokens left, which is a bit annoying, but head on. Mega dance, that was quite fun. Painful. Felt like I was in a washing machine. Um, but yeah, it was good, good fun. Um, we've got an odd amount of focus left. Yeah, we have an odd amount of tokens left, which is annoying. Um, so we're hoping that the Misery Horror House thing does that uh, five tokens for two people thing. I know it's three per person, but we're hoping it's five tokens for both of us. That's what we've got left. Otherwise, we're going to have to buy one single token, which is annoying. Uh, but I guess that's the point in making everything on numbers and that. Um, but yeah, really, really great so far. Coming to the end of our trip. 
Uh, we're gonna do misery, then we're gonna get some food, give that a review, and then we're gonna head off. But um, yeah, we're approaching misery now, so we'll let you know. Thank you, Oh, yeah? That's the land, yeah? Misery. That's what Charlotte is right now. Misery. I thought you meant slippery when wet. I was like, wow, we're rude. Slippery when wet. Here we go. No smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got the stairs yet. Walk behind them, Charlotte, because it's all going to be sensors in here, isn't it? Very dark. Oh God. Very, very dark. Still in misery. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> so nothing's happened so far. Where's that sensor? There it is. Hello, mate. Got some strobe lights coming. Oh, she's freaky. Who, Freddy Krueger? Yeah. Probably. How do I get this one to go again? Where's the sensor? Where's the sensor gone for this? I have no idea. There it is. Ah. Stand there. I feel like he doesn't move. He's Starting the misery house. That was good, it's good fun. Just a lot of animatronics, no live actors in there or anything. Didn't expect there to be anyway, but um, very loud noises. It's really dark. It was actually right for a little horror attraction actually. Um, not too bad. Um, so we've done it now with the rides. We've used all 21 of our tokens. Uh, eight, no, 41 tokens between us, between us. Um, so 20 and a half tokens each. Um, yeah, we're gonna head over to get some food now. Um, don't know what we're gonna get yet. Um, Charlotte's a vegan, so she's gonna get vegan food, right? Yeah. Good. And I'm, I mean, right. I'm not a vegan, so I'm not gonna get vegan food. But I'm gonna get nut-free food, hopefully. We'll see. Um, but we'll let you know what, how they handle it with, with both those situations and how the food is and what price it was and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're not gonna try one of everything because we don't know what it's all like, but we'll give you 
best review we can. All right, so Charlotte's getting pizza in the main food court, like, because they do this vegan pizza, which is cool. Um, I was gonna get a burger, but they, with my with my nut allergy, they were like, nah, the buns come from a factory, so I was like, all right, fine. Uh, there's actually, I'm so picky as well. There's like nothing else in there I like, so I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go over to the truck stop and um, see what's going on over there with hot dogs and stuff, and um, I'll catch up with you when I'm there and see what's what, see what I'm getting. What's your pizza like? Mm. Looks cheesy. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's vegan, right? So it's all good. What's on it? Um, just peppers and vegan cheese. That's literally it. And a bit of a leaf of some sort. A bit sort. of a leaf. A bit of a leaf. Basil. I just flew it. Food. Chicken chips. So we're now leaving. Um, I've got my food, chicken and chips. I bet tenner, it's like half a chicken and chips and gravy is actually like a lot of food for a tenner, so I'm happy with that. You got vegan pizza and that was what? How much? Uh, eight pounds. Eight pounds, was it good? It was really good. Though. Sick, yeah, the food here looks really cool. Um, the only place I could actually eat, I didn't check one of the, I didn't check like a couple of places come too picky, but yeah. the only place that I liked that I could eat was um, this place, the rotisserie chicken place. Um, everywhere else couldn't guarantee anything was nut free, so whatever, but it's good actually, it's quite nice. Um, that is such a good event, I'm so happy with that, I'm so impressed. Um, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to come come back and do probably next year along with Winter Wonderland. Um, yeah, really really nice event. Cozy, wasn't it? It was, it was nice. We didn't go on the big wheel because it's not really our thing. <laughs> we got a nice view from the booster though, you can actually see Hyde Park and Winter Wonderland from that booster. We were saying there's probably people on the booster over there looking over here going, I wonder what that is over there. <laughs> um, yeah, Winterville, really, really cool. Um, really, really good event. Definitely recommend, oh, sorry, I've got like a mouthful of chicken. Definitely, <laughs> definitely recommend coming over to this one um, as well as Winter Wonderland um, if you're coming over or instead of, if you know, if you don't like the crowds, you've got kids or anything like that, Winterville is really, really cute. It's really, really cool. It's got some really good rides as well, actually. Um, I was quite impressed with the ride selection. Um, something for everyone in there um, but yeah it was a really really good event that's so disappointing that's unesthetically pleasing oh.